All right, here we go. Question number eight from our college algebra homework number seven in my lab math. And we have another application problem. Suppose that $19,084 is invested at an interest rate of 6.3% per year compounded, look at this, compounded continuously. Now this is a key word that indicates we're going to use this particular formula. Compound continuously means we're using the PERT formula, P E to the R T. I like to call that the PERT formula. Part A says find the exponential function that describes the amount of uh, in the account after time t. And so that means that t is going to remain a variable and we're going to take this formula and plug in the information we know. Okay, so we need to be able to calculate the amount. Oh, and look at this down here. It says the exponential growth function is P of T. Okay, so this, instead of A, they're going to want me to say P of T. And do I know P? P stands for the principal, which is the initial amount invested. And that is the 19000 $84. That is our principal. E is a constant, so E stays E. The rate, 6.3%, needs to be converted to a decimal to work with it. And remember, to convert a percent to a decimal, you need to move that decimal 2 to the left. So two places would be 0 0.063. Remember, T is going to stay a variable. And so this should be our answer for part A. Let's see, 1984, 1984, E to the point zero six three T. That is our function for our exponential growth, okay? Next, it wants us to find the balance after one year. Super easy barely an inconvenience. We just need to replace T with 1, okay? So for part B, we're actually going to calculate P of 1 by replacing T with 1. And we're going to bring up our handy dandy calculator for that. We've got 19084 to do the e to the, we're going to hit shift ln and the exponent 0 0.063. Now, how many of y'all realize that I don't, I don't have to put times 1? Because if I multiply by 1, that's just going to be the same number. And that is going to be $20,324. And I think we do need to round that to the nearest penny. So the answer for that is going to be 20000 $324.97. And let's see if we're right. $24.97. Okay, after two years. So that means calculate P of 2. 19084 e to the 0 .063 times 2. Now, if you have my particular calculator here, or a calculator similar, this is going to be freaking easy. You just need to hit the back button till it's up in the exponent, and you just add the times 2. You don't have to type the whole thing over again. You can just edit what you did before, and it does the new calculation. So now we're going to have $21,646.00. And 64 cents is our amount of money after two years. 21,646 and 64 cents. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. Another one. Piece of cake. P of five. 19084 e to the 0 0.063 times. Five times five. And again with the calculator, super easy to edit. Just hit delete and five. 
So that's going to be 26,150. And now check this out. Two, but the two season eight, so that's going to be three cents rounded, okay? Make sure that you round correctly. $26,150.03. Oh my gosh, another one. All right. How many do I have to do to prove that I know how to do this? 19084e to the 0 0.063 times 10. All right, so we're going to pull a Britney Spears. Hit me, baby, one more time with a 10. And that's going to, now we're getting some money. $35,832.32. All right, let's check that out. $35,832. And 32 cents. Now then. Aha. Finally, something different. The doubling time. Now there is a formula for doubling time for an exponential growth problem. The formula for doubling time is the natural log of 2 divided by R. Natural log of 2 divided by whatever the rate is. And here our rate, remember as a decimal, was 0 0.063. So here the doubling time is going to be the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.063. And they do want us to round to one decimal place. So bringing up the calculator, and I'm going to use the fraction this time. Natural log of 2. Oops. Delete. Natural log, whoop, can I do it like this? Bam, look at that. Natural log of 2 divided by point zero six three. Ele look at that, 11, just 11. Maybe I better put the point zero just in case they want the point zero. Damn. So, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.